All right, there were some small changes to the way that Jubilee and America Chavez work in the last patch. Basically now, America Chavez uh, starts at the bottom of your deck and then gets drawn on turn six. And the reason why this is important is that cards like Jubilee now uh, add the top card of your deck to this location. So they're not gonna be drawing America Chavez as much. Now, when you're using the tracker, uh, the untap.gg checker you can see what cards are left in your deck pretty easily so it makes a deck like this uh very fun to play it's kind of like a casino deck uh and it's oldie but goodie i think a lot of people can play this and i was skeptical that i was going to get good results with this but we got randomness with lockjaw we've got randomness with dracula and we got randomness with jubilee however comma you know, I've played it a little bit right now, 11 games, and I've won 72% of my games, and I've gone up 16 cubes in 11 matches. I've been playing it for like 45 minutes. Average cubes, 1.45, and it looks like it's tracking very well. If, if, if you want to compare this to Galactus or Electro Ramp decks, I mean, those are doing a half to third as many cubes. I mean, they're doing like 0.15. There are other decks than Galactus and Electro Ramp that are viable right now. There's so many viable decks, believe me, uh, whether it's Devil Dino, Dark Hawk, or Doom Wave, or Patriot. There's like a million decks you can play right now. Uh, so let's get into it. And uh, for me, this has been working. We're just gonna play a couple matches and show how the, the tempo of the game works uh typically the idea is to get lockjaw out on turn three and lockjaw got changed too i forgot to mention there was lockjaw changes so like after you play a card here swap it with a card in your deck once per turn well that works just fine right now uh with this current build right here because you can kind of measure it out with wasp and yellow jacket or the other thing that's kind of fun for me to do is uh to drop jubilee onto the lockjaw lane and then you get to basically double dip Oh, and that goes. So whoever has the least power here wins. Uh, we're gonna snap them because uh, they, they, they can't be happy about that. Uh, and everything's gonna shift over uh, with uh, Bifrost anyway. So we want to avoid playing anything into lane one for right now. Well, they they're gonna play it out. Debris. All right. Let's see here. All right. Why don't we just do um hmm. Thing I'm gonna do do I want to do Dracula or do I want to do Lockjaw? Let's see what I got in my deck. I've got Yellow Jacket, Lockjaw, Thor, and it won't pull America Chavez. So basically, this would be like a 50 50. Huh, I don't know. Well, let's do it anyways. Let's just have fun with it. All right, everything's gonna shift over with the Bifrost. Let's see. We, hopefully, we're hoping for Infinite. Let's go. Thor, okay, we'll take it. We can extract that from the deck with, um... Oh boy, we're gonna have fun with that. All right, so we are going to not play the that at all. All right, let's see, what do, how do I wanna win this? Um, why don't we place Dracula over here? I'm gonna place, I guess it doesn't matter uh, if I do Yellow Jacket first or not on top of Dracula. Um, mm, let's see here. Starlight Citadel. All right, what do we have in my hand that I do not? We're going to have to dump everything, right? Uh, Captain Marvel's going to be the weakest link, I guess. Well, let's see here how this goes. I don't think we're going to want to play Magneto. Maybe we'll play Captain Marvel. This got threw me for a loop right there. It wasn't accounting for that. It turned out okay, but where the bar with no name was, was kind of weird. So it is what it is. Uh, let's see what we got here. Dracula, Blue Marvel. Okay, so I, what are they gonna just like, they're gonna abandon that lane? And so I should just go heavy over here. Yellow Jacket, Wasp. And what, Giganto and just go big and uh, not worry about, yeah, I, I don't see how I lose here. All right, 
So he's gonna play for the middle? I don't understand what's happening here. All right, so you got 16, all right. All right, we're up four cubes. All right, we're gonna play. Uh, it's it's random, but we'll take it. All right, so we're at 115 and we're climbing. We're gonna keep going. All right, so let's see how this goes. Cold snapper, cold blooded. He's got the frog. He spent some money. Uh, he's got the frog avatar. All right. Uh, let's see. After turn three, shuffle your cards into your deck. Draw three cards. All right, we're going to be uh, playing uh, Yellow Jacket uh, early. Normally, I would hold on to Yellow Jacket, um, but now with that, we're going to play Yellow Jacket. When we, I mean, not now, but I guess we're going to play Thor and then Yellow Jacket. We, you know, or Yellow Jacket then Thor. It is what it is. All right, let's see. Let's go. All right, we don't need to play anything here into New York. Uh, I guess we'll just do it. I guess it doesn't matter what we do. We'll just do it like that. Split them up. And then everything's going to get shuffled, which is bad for both of us. All right, looks like we're going to play against Patriot. Patriot decks are super popular. There's four very popular decks right now. Uh, and, and Patriot is one of them. Um, hmm, how do I want to play this? Um, I can lock jaw and then next turn, uh, Jubilee. Let's do that. And then, uh, hopefully we don't draw in. I mean, maybe we'll see what we draw into. And then we could play Giganto, uh, you know, which is a lot. Patriot decks are very popular. I think the four most popular decks are like Devil, Dino, Darkhawk decks, and then followed by like Patriot, and then Galactus, and uh, Electro Ramp. Uh, I like the Patriot decks. Uh, they can put out a lot of power on turn six. I mean, uh, they can do like Patriot Mystique on turn six, or they can play um, Ultron on turn six. So they, 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 they have a swingy pattern. Uh, they, they got Kazar. They're probably just hoping that they don't get uh, Killmonger. All right, that's good, right? All right, are they clogged there? Not really. That uh, That's an appearance that they're clogged, but they're not. They're not clogged. Um, so in my deck, I've got Wasp, Thor... Mighty Thor, Jane Foster, Infinite, and Mjolnir. Hmm. I think I'm going to abandon this. I mean, I could um, put out Ms. I don't know what to do here. Um, I don't feel like abandoning. I mean, that's a lot of points. And I think we're just going to do that and see how it goes uh take that right there and just abandon hellfire club and go for the right yeah debris all right and then wasp wow all right we'll take giganto for the win all right let's go all right all right so we're we're, we're climbing like a machine all right Cold Snapper. Sounds like a fish name. All right. Kraken Null. All right. This is a buddy of mine. We're going to fist bump him. Um, he is someone I've known for several years now, actually, between Marvel Strike Force and not only Marvel Strike Force, but um, we also played uh, Marvel Future Revolution together. So this is somebody I know. Hopefully he's not watching the stream right now. I don't think he is. I don't think you do that. He might be streaming right now on Twitch, actually. He's playing Jeff. He's playing Jeff. We got Altar of Death. All right. I don't know what to do here. I don't really want to clog my hand with Dracula type stuff, right? All right. Let's, uh, let's put uh, Lockjaw over here. This might be a retreat. Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say he's really into move decks right now. He might be playing a move deck. So, uh, I was going to say that before, before, I mean, he's just super into move depths. What do I want to do here? 
I'm, I'm worried about, I, I guess if I'm going to do cloning vats, I just have to abandon the idea of playing uh, Dracula. All right, we'll do Thor over there. Uh, maybe we'll draw into whatever, whatever we want to draw into. All right, so he got a uh, one cost uh, Spider-Man Miles, right? Hmm, I wonder if he's going to suck all of them over here with like Doctor Strange or something. All right, so why don't we do that and that? Ooh, wait a minute. Do I want the two energy or do I want the card? Let's see. I could draw, let's see, randomly Dracula, Jubilee, America, Chavez, Yellow, Jessica, and Wasp. Actually, I don't really want any of those out of my deck, do I? So we're going to drop that into Altar of Death and take the two energy. I'm pretty sure this is a loss. So we are going to most likely retreat on turn six. All right. All right, in my deck, I've got Jubilee, Dracula, Wasp, Yellow Jacket. So I, I don't really want to place anything to... I mean, so the problem I have here is I, I don't... You know, where can I... Right, I mean, I can drag this stuff over here, I guess, right? Hmm. What is his team's going to get moved? Dagger? He's going to move Dagger, and Dagger will get a lot of points. Giganto? Oh, wow. Um... I don't think this is good. I really don't. Um, <clears throat> 14 and 22. Now nah, he could move all this. He could move some of this stuff over like dagger and then play Heimdall. Uh, I'm going to retreat. Uh, I'm just going to uh, bad locations. It's fine. Let's fist bump him and dip out. There you go. Yeah, I just don't think it was, uh, is, I don't think I was going to win there. So we're going to dip out. All right. We're going to keep going. And there we go. Godspeed. Ongoing effects here are doubled. Not really anything that'll help us. So that's kind of a bad location for us then. Uh, so we're going to get, we're going to get Lockjaw. Uh, if we can draw into Jubilee, Wasp, or Yellow Jacket, those are pretty good food for Lockjaw. Um, I actually would prefer to draw Wasp and Yellow Jacket now so I can drop Lockjaw on turn three and then immediately get some benefit from that. Uh, on turn four, uh, Jubilee double dips, basically. All right, draw a one cost card. I don't have any one cost cards. All right, we're gonna do Lockjaw, and then next turn we'll do Jubilee, and that'll pull two cards. It'll probably pull my Wasp and Yellow Jacket uh, with my luck. If I draw into Wasp or Yellow Jacket, then I will play them. All right, here we go. Mm, yeah, you know what? Why don't we do Dracula, Wasp, and um that seems okay i mean uh drawing this extra card kind of throws off dracula so maybe that's not good all right so we got a mr negative pop off mr negative decks uh can be um explosive right all right so i think what we want to do here is we're gonna yellow jacket there and then we're gonna Mighty Thor there, so that'll pull out. No, no, no. We want to we want to do this here. We're gonna play Mighty Thor first, which will yank out the wasp so that I won't uh with Lockjaw flip the wasp, right? So the order matters here. So playing Thor first means that I'm gonna get Wasp out of my deck into my hand, and then Yellow Jacket will be able to pull Captain Marvel, Marvel Giganto, or Infinite. So that'll be good. There we go. All right, so Wasp is now there. Yellow Jacket goes into the deck, and we get Infinite. All right, fantastic. All right. 
Adam Warlock, oof. All right, so they're gonna draw all of their cards and they're all inverted. Wow, this is actually kind of terrible. Uh, I'm going to, let's see here. I'm gonna play Magneto here and then I'm gonna play Wasp there and that'll draw Captain Marvel or Giganto. How do you say that? Giganto, Giganto, I'm not even sure. Uh, but I wanna like clog this up as much as possible. There you go. So that's clogged. So we're gonna win that lane. I'm probably gonna win this lane, right? Yeah, Captain Marvel's gonna provide some flexibility. I mean, I guess they can place, what are they gonna do? They're gonna put like uh, Mystique right there. So we could, all right, so Giganto is in my deck, so Jubilee pulls him. I just don't think there's a way of winning that lane, right? Hmm. Let's see here. Do Is there a way of winning that lane? I, I guess I could, if I wanted a 50-50. Hmm. Do I want to do wars? No, I don't, I don't want to do that. Let's do this. Um, I don't, I, I'm, I'm trying to, I, I, I think I'm going to lose this lane over here. Wow. So what are they going to place over there? Actually, I'm super curious on what they're going to do. So I, I kind of want to play that out. That'll give me 14 extra power there. Let's do that. And then here we're going to draw those guys, which is fine. Let's just see how it goes. What do they got? Leader? All right. Wow. All right. There we go. All right, there we go. So that was fun though. Look how many uh, points they had there. I guess Iron Man had the double ongoing, so we we're gonna lose there, but uh, their leader did nothing, right? Huh. Yeah, I, I thought, why didn't, so why didn't he, I don't know, why didn't uh, Leader copy Jubilee? Yeah. Captain America, I should have played Captain America in the ongoing. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't, didn't play that perfectly or optimally, but that's fine. We still got a W. We're, we haven't, we're, uh, we're on a good run. We're just going to play this until I lose at this point which is kind of a fun thing to do. Uh, so far, this deck, you know, we are and we're at, what, 71% win. We are averaging 1.5 cubes. We've netted 21 cubes this morning. All right, we're gonna hang on to Wasp and we're gonna do that with, um, so this deck doesn't really run well. All right, I am gonna place Lockjaw over there because there's a chance that I could pull Jubilee, right? All right, so we're gonna drop Wasp and then we'll see what we get. Oh, I tried to copy Yellow Jacket. Oh yeah, Yellow Jacket, yeah, there you go. That's what it was. It tried to copy, so the, the the leader tried to copy Yellow Jacket, so that's exactly what happened. Um, but what do we want to do here? Unreveal effects do not happen at this location. Uh, I think he's, I think he's gonna bounce. Like, I think he's gonna bring up with Beast or something. Why else would, why else would he do that? Um, do I want to clog him is also a thing. I think Dracula is my, my strongest card. Um, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play Debris and give him some rocks. Uh, maybe, maybe, and we'll pull, let's see. I'm, I, this is kind of horrible, actually. Captain Marvel, Jubilee, America Chavez. So you can see above me here, three out of the five options are good. 
And uh, two of them are kind of bad. All right, we got uh, America Chavez. Cool. And then now I've got Captain Marvel, Jubilee, and Wasp. So that's actually kind of dead, right? Uh, I don't really want that. Um, ooh, wait a minute. If I do, if I do Thor first and then Yellow Jacket, then I will, I got a 50-50 Captain Marvel Jubilee. Let's do it. I mean, it, 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 my deck is going to be so thin. You know what I mean? Swordmaster, nothing. All right. Lizard, ongoing. All right. All right, so we've got Wasp in hand, Yellow Jacket. Let's see if we get Captain Marvel or Jubilee. Oh, we got the debris. I forgot the debris was there. All right. <laughs> they can't be happy with that. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, they can't be happy with that. All right, so we're just going to place Giganto there and call it a day. I don't know. Like, um, uh, and then, yeah, we're just going to call it a day. <laughs> I guess they can, uh, well, they can't even really, um, I guess they could Sean Chi me, right? Oh, on reveal effects don't happen. So we might as well just clog these up. I don't know. Let's see what they do. I have no idea. Odin. Oh no. All right. Giganto! Giganto for the win! All right. Victory. All right, we're going to keep going. Forgot about debris being in my deck. That actually randomly played out well. All right, we're going to just keep going until I lose. Uh, which is fun. Oh, we got a, we got a, we got a, a rematch. All right. All right. We're rematch. Let's see. Let's pass right here. All right. Cards can't be destroyed. All right. Yellow jacket. No point in playing that here. I mean, for being a random deck with like randomness with Lockjaw, Dracula, Jubilee, it, it seems to be fairly consistent. Um, we'll have to see. This this could be the hand that is just no good. And that is that. And we'll call it. Uh, but this is pretty fun. This is pretty fun. I, I, I like the randomness of this. He's under my dirty tricks now. Storm. Oof. All right. Well, we're going to drop. We're going to drop. Um jubilee in the middle and oh or just i just put dracula there huh yeah we're gonna place yellow jacket and dracula right there let's see how big they go they don't even put anything there all right so this is gonna be like a white tiger a white tiger uh doom deck of some kind maybe it has to be or doom oh look at that all right, so um, I am going to, let's see, what do we got over there? Thor, Chavez, Magneto, Wasp is the bad card. Or do I do America Chavez? Or do I do Teen Foster Mighty Thor? So let's see here. I do like the idea of 50% chance of it being pretty big. And um, I also need to get rid of Jubilee because of Dracula. All right, let's do that. White Tiger. Oof. All right, we're still okay in the middle. Four. All right, so we've got Mjolnir in my deck. Actually, wouldn't we're gonna draw Chavez here? Huh. All right. So, what is the smart way to play this? I, I think we just do that. And we got 5, 7, 19, 2, 9. So, basically, even the 9 loses there. So, we lose. All right, we lose. So, we retreat here, and that is that. 
I love this deck. I really do. I, I think it, it is a lot of fun. It's been refreshing. I'm glad that the older decks are doing well right now. I'm glad that there are so many decks that are viable right now. Uh, like a gabillion versions of different decks. I'm going to retreat. Uh, but yeah, this is working just fine. You know, I played... Well, the stats for this match haven't queued into the, the Snap.Fan yet. Uh, but it will here in a moment. But, you know, I basically, you know over a 70% win rate, you know, anything over 0.3 cubes, this is 1.81. Well, that's, uh, you know, for me, I, I, I was having six times better than normal. I mean, some of the best decks right now are, are barely even pulling in, uh, you know, like Galactus is 0.13, Electoran's 0.13. I mean, is I'm getting, you know, and then, you know, you've got Lockjaw at 0.26, twice as, twice as productive as, 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 uh, Galactus or Electro Ramp. Let me know what you think. Hope you have fun with it. It's pretty random. Pretty random. Bye for now.